So I'm here in Houston, Texas, and um, it's a man that's dead in the middle of the street. And it's, it's, um, I'm just kind of angry today. I'm very frustrated by the stupidity and just just the nonsense that's constantly going on um, it just seems like we we gotta pull back some morals and edu we gotta strengthen our education we gotta strengthen there's just too many things wrong and it doesn't seem like a lot of people are, are aware or paying attention. What happened? I don't know, it's just a dead body. Oh, damn. Yeah, right there. Right there. I don't know if they got... I don't know if they got hit by somebody, but it's just disturbing the craziness. I've only been in town for one about four hours, and I've seen like five different things in four hours. Welcome to Houston. Yeah, y'all be safe. You too. All right. And um, it's just another tragedy, you know. And um, we need to pull it together as a nation. You know, we need to create jobs. We need to create jobs that the young people can actually keep. Where, there, where there's not somebody prancing around trying to fire everybody. Uh, let's get it. I mean, let's, let's just face it. But we're not all the way. We, we don't have everything together anymore. So there has to be a, a, a new level of leniency and, and giving direction and, and duplication. Men teaching their teaching others how to do things because I'm convinced if it wasn't for YouTube we'd really be in trouble but at least a lot of men can get guidance some guidance through YouTube on how to do things but we we've become a nation that is that is uh, that it's it just appears to be being dumbed down and we're distracted and we don't have the work ethic and the the the, the strength and uh that's why I kind of there's a guy on TikTok. A lot of people might like him or not like him, but he flips out on people. I, I don't have his name offhand, but I, I don't. I just know it's a dead body in the middle of the street. Yeah, to the left. Yeah. Um, but I, I like some of his principles, you know, and and how, you know, to me, I if the truth be said, I just feel like a lot of the powerful rich have sold this country out by selling factories and companies and and sending them overseas i think uh racism plays a large part in a lot of the minority schools not getting the proper education and when they're not getting the proper education you got a bunch of delinquents everywhere and and now we got grown delinquents everywhere or people that that are just not as smart and you know you need you need thinking you need a thinking people you need a thinking class people to have a thinking society. When you have a crazy society filled with hoodlums, people that do a hit and run, you know, people who steal everything, people are constantly trying to look for the next scam, people who don't want to work. Well, this, this is what we're this is what we're generating right now in a lot of aspects. And some people would disagree with me. And, and now I feel like COVID. The COVID virus is another excuse for people to do nothing. You know, yes, it's dangerous out here. There's viruses, but uh, there's a lot of viruses in the way people act. And our, our greedy, our greediness, you know. Uh, rent being so high, the loans for housing so hard to get. Um, but then also people wanting too much for their wages. You know, men wanting, the men who are talented got to come down a little bit on their pricing so that others can, so that others can utilize their, their, uh, their, their tools and 
we're, we're just all out of order here. It's out of order. It's really, really out of order. And um, it's sad to see. It's sad to see a nation um, in such dire need of morals. And, and here we're on a main avenue in Houston, Texas uh, called Westheimer. And there's a man laying on the street dead. Um, I'm not sure as to what happened. I just know that it's a sad turn of events and it's it's another sad sad turn of events it's very sad and um here it is once again we are a country in need do you happen to know what happened did the car stop? No. Nobody saw it, huh? Do you happen to know, was it a homeless guy that's handicapped, that's deaf, by any chance, black guy? Is it, uh, oh, you didn't see? Because I know around here there was a homeless guy that I would always buy coffee for. He had bad feet. He got it. Yeah, he was deaf. I mean, he used to be real nice looking, healthy and all that, but I guess over the years of being homeless, he broke both his feet. He got ran over by a car so he could barely walk. And I'm, I'm wondering if that's the guy. Yeah. How are you doing, sir? Well, we're trying, I'm trying to figure it out. I was wondering if it was this homeless guy that I used to help out all the time, a black guy with bad feet. Okay. Was that him? Yeah. Black guy? The guy that got hit. No, no. He's a white guy. Oh, it's a white guy. Okay. Yeah. That's sad. So are you filming for? Um, I have a YouTube channel and I always try to instruct people about doing better, about humanity doing better, put people doing better, uh, doing the right thing, like not doing a hit and run and disappearing. Okay, that's you do a good job. Yeah, it's about uh, our country and the need for, um, for us to create more jobs yeah. and affordable living so you don't have homeless people like this walking around doing nothing, but they have nowhere to go because they have no jobs, but no, none of these jobs want to help. Many of the jobs, I shouldn't say none, but many of the jobs aren't doing what they need to help the need. Absolutely right. So and I see so much, and I'm sure you do too. Absolutely, I accept uh, whatever you do, but uh, even, uh, I didn't, I didn't sign a thing because uh, the, the guy who hit him, he just escaped from here. But it's very sad. And it's when very you hit sad. someone, you gotta call, you gotta stay there, you gotta help the guy. That's yeah. right. You don't, you don't, don't disappear. Went, you don't disappear. Maybe they say, oh, well, it didn't maybe, happen. I didn't kill somebody. Yeah. Maybe you, when you call someone, maybe you can save their life. Yes. Yes. If you don't call, you just escape. Maybe that guy is dead. That's, that's, if you disappear, if you disappear, it means you, that's you, murder almost, because you like, and it, yes, it's very scary. If you hit somebody, you're going to be very scared. You're yeah. going to be very panicked, but you can't run. But see, we become a nation uh, that runs from problem. We run from dealing with racism. And, and we run from creating senses. jobs. We run from creating housing. We run from creating affordable rent. We run from doing the right thing constantly. I mean... We're not going to be perfect, but there's try, a, a, try to do something better. That's not the right thing, sir. Anyone, as a human being. There you go. We have to support each other. We have to help each other. That's right. Because what I'm saying, like that guy hit and that ran. He is not feeling good. I know. He just escaped from here. If he was calling HPD, if he called the ambulance, he might help that guy. That's the thing I can see. You're right, bro. Take right, care, man. You. God bless. So yeah, I think he said it better than I have. But I think the principle of this is we become a nation who's running in a lot of ways. A great nation that's running. We're running from our leaders doing more. We're running from 
leaders stepping in and saying certain policies need to be changed to help humanity. Uh, we're running from helping other countries out. We're running from creating the jobs that people uh, that people need, but mainly education. We're running from uh, paying our teachers more and our professors more or whatever it takes using the money and uh, redirecting those funds to make this a more uh, sound and safer place to live this I've been in I just drove into town five four hours ago and it has been a circus and this is a safer city or um, there's a this is a decent city and it's been like a circus compared to being in, in the sticks and in the uh, the boonies where I've been for the last week this is just like a circus um, with the amount of craziness and I say that so that people might try to figure out a way to take it to make a change here but um, once again another life has been claimed on this street but more than that um, we got to stop being so greedy and we got to stop uh, prioritizing the wrong things our priorities and COVID has become the new excuse. How are you doing? Good, how are you doing? All right. COVID has become the new excuse for, for people to not give good service, for people to not get involved, for people to not give, for people to be more selfish, be more reclusive and hide at their home in their little bubble. COVID has become the new excuse for American laziness and that's my opinion COVID is now an excuse for sloppy to even become more sloppy for the sloppy to now transform into triflingness and I'm gonna speak out about it because if this boat sinks I'm gonna make it known that something was wrong but also, if you're crossing the street in Houston, you need to get out the way. You need to get out the way. And I can smell the body from here. It smells awful. Um, Pray for this man's family. Hopefully his soul was going, going with the Lord and he made his peace. Um, I don't know what's to be learned from this situation, but I just know that this country and its greediness is absolutely, excuse me, thank you. It's absolutely a shame and it's gotta stop. The, the scales are off. The scales are off. Things are not balanced. You know. It was a month ago on the street. Somebody was shooting a gun right here. Just frivolously shooting a gun. It was two months ago. I saw a horrible wreck here. Um, just continual craziness and hopefully we can pray and begin to make some positive changes or somebody will be influenced just one or two people be influenced to do a better to do better are you gonna die what are they what are you gonna what's gonna happen when you die with your millions and millions and billions of dollars they're gonna throw it in the casket they're gonna say, hold up, before we bury this man, let's put let's put this $16 billion in his casket. Um, let's tear down all his properties and, and put them in his casket. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen 
if we lose this country to a country that wants this land better the land is it's almost virgin land because we have, we don't have the factories we used to we're not we're not making that much so some other country might see this as virgin land some country that is more civilized and more hungry for growth and more hungry for uh, you know we don't think about these things you, you know we're, we're on our high horse as a country and we think that everything's in order but it's clearly not in order when you have people shooting each other the trust the trust factors out the window it's hard to trust anybody it's hard for the police to trust anybody it's hard for people to trust the police it's hard to trust the judges it's hard to trust lawyers it's hard to trust businessmen why because the ethics is out the door and very few men stand up trying to raise the ethical bar and actually say something that's that's going to hold people accountable you know it's it, it what, where, where are the men at? Where are the men that are going to step up and hold men accountable and say, no, you can't do that. This isn't right. Or I am going to build another factory. Or I'm going to create some affordable housing. Or I am going to start a nonprofit and actually use the money to help people. All the money. You know, it's just too much shadiness going on. And it's starting, we're starting to see, we are starting to see um, the fruit. We're starting to see the manifestation of sloppiness, of uh, inequality, of racism, of joblessness, of homelessness. Uh, we're starting to see the fruit of men, uh, vagrants walking the street, vagabonds walking around, prostitution walking around, and just people dying left and right. Somebody's kid dying left and right. People dying left and right, you know? No wonder we got some virus taking people out. You know, you got people hating everybody, you got race racial tensions people wanting to blame this group of people and that group of people last thing that man's blood was on the curb right there and it was red it, it, whether he was white black or brown i didn't know what race he was i saw his blood his blood wasn't blue you know we all have red blood at the end of the day we all we all bleed the same you know we got to get it together so frustrated with this ignorance Oh, have a good night.